Welcome to today's video. Today we will be looking at how to back up a VMware VM using Networker vProxy. So Networker has been supporting backup of VMware VMs from a uh, quite a while now, but with Networker 9.2, VMware uh, EMC has made it very easy to backup VM as image level backups using vProxy. So in this video, let's go ahead and see how to configure a VM backup using vProxy. Here are some of the steps that you have to follow. If in case you have not yet integrated your vCenter with Networker, that would be the first step to do. Go ahead and add the vCenter to the Networker. Use an appropriate user with all the required permissions. For the permissions required for a backup and browsing the VMs within a vCenter, please refer to the Networker VM integration guide. Your next step would be to deploy the vProxy appliance, the number of vProxies and the location of the deployment of the vProxies will depend on how your VM vCenter has been configured. General rule that I follow is to have at least one vProxy appliance per cluster. Depending on the number of VMs that are present in, in the cluster, you might have to increase the number of uh, proxies on that particular cluster. Also keep in mind that there is a restriction on the vCenter that not more than 100 VM image level backups can run for a particular VM at a single point of time. Next, you would have to go ahead and configure the vProxy in Networker. That would be the vProxy and Network integration. After this, you might want to look into the firewall rules that are in your environment in case you have multiple VLANs that you are using in your network. Then the firewall rules required for this vProxy uh, VM backup has to be followed. The port requirements have been put up in the next slide so that you can note them down there. Next would be to identify the VMs that would need to be protected. Once this is done, we would go ahead and start configure, configuring the backups. The first step for configuring would be to create the protection group and to select the VMs uh, depending on their uh, vProxies or the location of the VMs in the cluster and so on or to bifurcate it on based on cluster, application, and so on. The next action here would be to create the workflow and the appropriate actions. Here I have put up the network port requirements. You can go ahead and pause the video and make a note of it, or maybe take a screenshot of this. And this is the next list of port requirements. Now let's go ahead and do a quick demo of the configuration itself. So I have uh, Networker 19.1 here and I would be going ahead and configuring the backup for the VMs on uh, the vCenter that I have in this demo lab. So according to our checklist that we saw previously, the first step would be to go ahead and add the vCenter since I don't have a vCenter added yet. Let's go ahead and do that. For this, go into protection right click under VMware view, say add vCenter, put in the host name of the vCenter server, put the administrator user or the appropriate user. And the password, click on OK, refresh. And there you go, we have successfully added the vCenter into Networker. The next step now would be to add the vProxy host to Networker. For this, let's go into Devices. On the left-hand tab, you will see vProxies. Right-click there and say you can either add it using the wizard or manually by creating the resource here. So let's do it manually. It's pretty simple. Go ahead and put the name of your vProxy. In our case, it is NW proxy. Cool. Go to configuration, put in the ID. 
always try to use the admin user uh, one more step here click select the vCenter and say ok so this might take a few minutes for the proxy to complete registration let's go ahead and create the protection group meanwhile for this let's go ahead and create a new policy go ahead and select new let's say vm underscore demo click on ok create a workflow so let's say vm demo again uh, let's give it a number zero one or something make sure that you select an appropriate start time and, uh, and the interval now let's go ahead and create the group by clicking on the plus symbol here so I'm going to keep the default name that uh, networker has picked for me maybe I don't want it this long we'll use the same name as the workflow next select the group type as VMware this is one of the important steps select the group type as VMware next select the appropriate vCenter and now we have to select the VMs that we need protecting so in, for this demo let's take into consideration Oracle CentOS SQL 01 yeah, that should be good enough let's go ahead and say OK next step would be to add the action since we have the protection group in place now so since we have used the protection group of type of VMware this is automatically going to pick up the backup subtype as vProxy so let's go ahead with the same selection select an appropriate pool select an appropriate storage node and a retention here you have an option of either getting the vProxy selected automatically or if in case you want a particular vProxy to be selected you can select the vProxy from the drop down list I'm going for the auto select so that it selects the best vProxy for that backup click on next I'm going to keep all these configuration default and then click on configure now we have the uh, actions added as well so let's go ahead and say ok let's quick jump back and see if the vProxy is registered ok let's do that now and looks like it is because now you have the vProxy version and the certificate all updated in this console here all right great let's go ahead and start the backup now demo right click and say start backup yes let's quickly jump on the vSphere to see what's happening so you see the network backup is started it is started to create the snapshots that's good now let's go back to networker console and you see that the backups are initiating let me go ahead and pause this video for some time and get ba come back to you when the backup is completed so now we can see that the backup is completed let's go ahead and check the details of our workflow and there we have it the two backups that are completed if you want to check what all VM backups that you have in your network database media database you can use the minus K switch with network to list all the backups let me show you a demo for that as well now we are here on the backup server let's go ahead and run mminfo minus k and there you have it the two backups that we just ran one for oracle centos and one for sql 01 
if you do run minus AVOT then there is a slight difference in how you see the output so oh, alright great so if you see if you saw the output in the previous command you were able to see the name of the VM as well but with mminfo minus AVOT you would see only the ID of the PM so it's always advisable to use mminfo with the minus K switch in case you want to check details of your VM backups. So thank you all for staying till the end of the video. I hope this video is helpful to you and I'll see you on another one.